as Robot Wars returns to Tech TV. The alien has a fan club, and why not impressive Velociripper out? Next up, Napalm 2 against Warhawk. From New Ash Green, Napalm. A large titanium hulled wedgie thing with vicious snarling fangs, or so they tell me, steel spikes attached to the rotary arm. Their fourth attempt at Robot Wars once reached the semi final. From Hull, Warhog. A heavy drum spins around the hub here with two blades attached, four wheel drive, two home designed and built gearboxes. An actuator lifts one end to assist steering. A wok provides the robot's helmet. Roboteers, stand by. The Warhog machine, Paul Stevenson operating the weapons in there with Mark Chalmers, the driver, and Colin Hare, the team tactician. I'm good to see the Napalm team back again. Teacher David Crosby in the middle, Michelle Davy, Vicky Allgood at the controls. Shunt is in the arena again. Watch for the pushing power. And Matilda will tusk you, will churn you with the flywheel. They generally disgust you. Three, two, one. Activate. Napalm moves first. Has always been a wee bit fragile with the titanium hull in the past. Semi-finalists way back in Series 2. Knocked out in the heats ever since and very sluggish it would seem. That's the back of the Warhog team. This is rather tentative, isn't it? Not the quickest robots around. Neither can get beyond 8 mile an hour top speed. It's all a little bit tentative. Are we watching this in slow motion? Down goes the blade of Napalm. Looks like one of those nodding donkeys you see out in the oil fields of Texas. Up and down with a slow and steady rhythm and Matilda waits. And again, if you go into what we call the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, it means that the house robots can attack you and they, they've got problems there. I think Warhawk up in the control booth. Paul Stevenson and Mark Chalmers and Colin Hare desperately. What? Trying to get some electrics to work. And Warhawk is just being slowly eased around the arena by Napal. Well, the lights were blinking in the snout of the hog, but there's very little life elsewhere. And now Matilda, the red bot takes a glance, but Matilda came out there and did a little bit of damage. Napalm has Warhog pressed to the arena. Get out of the way, says the red bot. I want to see if Warhog has been immobilized here. I want a closer check. Napalm would be well advised to get away from that flame pit. Steer out of danger's reach. The Warhog just pushed by the ref bot into the middle of the arena so that we can see if there is life in there. But it's moving very slowly. Now is Napalm immobilized? This is most curious. The ref bot has to check on Napalm being controlled by Vicky Orgut. Fighting here at the controls of Napalm. Warhog seems to be on fire on the flame pit. Not the sturdiest or most reliable of robots, these two. It'll go to the judges. Let's be honest, they don't need a pocket calculator to total up the point scored, do they? The judges have made their decision. Now, let me explain. They reckon that both robots were immobilized at the end of the fight. So they've gone on the action during the fight. And they reckon that you guys were a lot more aggressive. They've gone for Napalm! Guys, um, there was a, one of the things they sort of said was that your weapon wasn't working from the start. It's not working from the start. I reckon we've left the air fleet off it. What happened? I, I've absolutely no idea. When we came in earlier on, we, they didn't really want to, to spin the weapon out there. Uh, and of course, we didn't check it, and it's not running. Oh, guys, guys. Disappointed? Very disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. But um, these are nice people. You've yeah, lost the nice yeah. people. Never mind. Ha they deserve it. Hey, hear that? You deserve it. How do you feel about that? Wicked. You do the driving, weren't you? Aye. Aye. Um, not bad driving, actually. Thank you. How far do you think you can go? There's a lot of big boys out there. There's a lot of big boys out there. Um, to be honest with you, before we've gone out to these guys, um, we saw that we saw their um, acts 
because they're spinning this working around earlier on. We thought, no chance. So Vicky's only chance was to drive it into the wall, hopefully before this bit, before the disc started. Um, they forgot to plug it in, though. But they didn't tell us. Oh, <laughs> bad habits seem to run up, rubbed off on them. Your bad habits have rubbed off on you. See, it's catching. Bad habits are catching. Ladies and gentlemen, go ballistic for the napalm posse. Yeah.